Welcome to Northern Ants. My name is Mark, and we are taking a look at a new game called Solar Gen. I just got it off of Steam. It just just released. It's a uh, very complex. I was I've played about four hours trying to familiarize myself with how to play, uh, so that we can I can give a little bit of a tutorial on so we can you know make it a little easier for you to get started after the first about hour I was pretty frustrated I was things were just weren't coming together so hopefully this will help so you don't get quite as frustrated and I probably still will even after four hours uh, I did finally get to where I was my colony was fairly large so we are starting out at the moon and we want to set up a colony on the moon we can get contracts uh, and what you want to do is over in this corner in your right hand corner let's close this real quick up over here there is it says your spaceport it's the colony that or the, the country that has it's the European um, countries that have a moon base in orbit and what we want to do is we want to establish a colony to get the funds to establish that you want to click on the flag and it'll give you contracts we sign this contract to establish a colony now you can click on establish co a colony and if you go down you can try to see where you want to place it if you look at this over here these indicators will kind of show you what resources are highly available in different areas so and we want to try to stick to the light side of the moon for right now because you're going to need the Sun for your solar panels uh, let's see right in there seems pretty good okay I'm just gonna leave it at moon 65 <clears throat> and now we can go to station some of the parts that had me uh, a little confused was when I get a base established so we'll kind of go through that a little bit more detail first thing we want to do is in your construction you want to pick a, it has to be a flat surface and one thing I did to um, figure out is you want to find a nice flat surface that has more space than just for one landing spot okay I'm outside my and it has to be inside your area that you had picked you gotta look for where it's gonna be see how it's green there there but I don't know if I really want to have it down in a crater it might once the Sun starts getting lower there's a good chance that it's gonna block our Sun rays that we need to have for our solar panels but nice thing is that by the time it the Sun does start to set we should have some other forms of power established okay let's see we want to have more than one <clears throat> how there's there and then there also let's see there and I want to set right away I found out that you want to try to get to established right off the bat so you have two spots where they're landing now we want to buy it's very important if you go into this menu up here and look at uh, let's see I think it's construction go over oh not that one uh, let's see equipment that's not it either <laughs> um, colony on the surface one of them has your list of goods that you're gonna need okay this this is a, a list that is pretty important now we want 
this is for our solar panels so when you go in here I'm gonna go in here and I'm just gonna put 20 of those solar panels this I'm gonna do 50 the lights are important because those are gonna be for building enclosures so I'm just gonna do 50 right away and motors are gonna be for doors I like to just kind of get a little bit of each and then this these metals here you want I'm gonna do I think it's 170 or something like that so I'm just gonna do 200 right off the bat oxygen just do oh oxygen actually because we need oxygen for building enclosures also so I'm gonna do 40 of the oxygen and do 20 water and rations I do rations instead of any of the other foods right off the bat because this can support them until you can get a kitchen up so do 20 of that for right now okay let's order it oh wait I need shoot I need those I forgot that you can still order it seeing you have two let's grab 20 of those 20 of those we do have two ports for ships coming down okay now hiring I found that mining is very important right off the bat so if it's not anybody that you want right away just click off of it and then go back to hire again said so don't really need research yet we want mining but oh that's those we don't need that's later on research mining and okay well, we're gonna click that we're gonna get a robot um, cook because once we we got to get a place for them to cook up mining is very important you can dismiss them too I can't I don't know how to get it to we get at least two miners we can send some of them back once the the ships arrive you can speed it up I recommend not speeding it up too much because you only have a, f amount of, a small amount of time to get this so once the, the ships are down and take off for the first make sure you put it right back to regular speed and they didn't deliver my goods they delivered the people but they did not deliver the goods that's not good okay power generation is this but they didn't deliver it we've got five shuttles that are on the way and one is coming in eight minutes so let's speed it up again let's get the next shuttles down here because we've got to get some power generation going we got to not filling our order yet you'll see it in the warehouse once they deliver the, the goods Okay, there we go. Put the clock back. Send it out. We got all these goods. Okay, now we can build a solar panel. Once we build the solar panel, it's going to unlock your batteries. And we want to get that up there too. We do have sufficient for it, but for some reason it's not granting us the ability to construct it quite yet. We got water and down here in the left hand corner you can see how many you got 11 days of food 11 days of oxygen or 10 days of oxygen okay here we go now we can build a battery so we need these to start constructing places for people to live Let's order these components are very important so we want to get those and the lights a few more motors and this
close the chart um, tutorial. And down here you can see you got your colonies happiness, they're ninety percent happy. Our current battery charge is only nine percent, so we've got to get more solar panels. And it's nice you can get, get right down in there too. Okay, I see now our batteries are charging up a little bit more. Now, this is going to be where you can build your base on. My first couple times playing, I would take and build a whole bunch of those, but you really don't need it. Okay, now here we go. This is, we're going to f do one there. We want to put a walkway on top of here and a staircase. Click on this, and that's the stairs. That'll make so you can, it'll put where you can get up into this walkway. And then this, it's gonna be your airlock. Okay, that unlocks some furniture that you can put in a hallway, which is opened up by this marker here. This is the marker for the hallway. First thing we need to do though, is get a door. So let's get a, an entry into the into the structure and then we're gonna want one that goes out of the structure okay now this will open up a hallway if we want to have the hallway so we can have rooms coming off of it we can put more of these structures to kind of support but you don't need them I didn't realize that until quite a bit later. Okay, you want to do hallway. So you got to click on this hallway button and see how it says hallway on it. Now we unlocked the bedrooms. I had a hard time finding the furniture the first time around. I don't know why the first like five times around. Okay, now we want to click when you click on what you want to build, which we don't have enough oxygen, so we got to get an order oxygen. Let's get another 40 oxygen. Might as well get some more water while we're at it, just because you're going to be using the ship anyways. So just come in here and get some stuff, because you got the room for right now. Don't have to have huge amounts of each thing yet until you get storage built up. Okay, place the order. Okay. Uh, yeah, see, I don't have the minerals quite yet to build another room, which we need to build a bedroom. We want to start getting bedrooms for the people so they have a place to stay. Okay, let's speed it up a little bit, get our ship down here. one of these things we got the storage room we've got research center okay here we go now click on it click on the bedroom and I will say apartment place the apartment and that unlocks a closet which will be good and it unlocks a bunch of stuff for food for the um, cafeteria depending on what country you're working for they have the places for them have their own foods okay now let's get a couple more apartments here and some more corridor which I might not have enough resources left anymore no I do not what am I missing more oxygen yeah oxygen pretty important we, we can produce oxygen after a while so let's just Let's just get, how many do we have? They got 153. So let's just get 150. And we'll get some more rations while we're at it. Okay, let's take a look inside. If you finish construction, and now, see, you can see inside. We've got the, this is the, the 
door coming into here. We need doors coming into the corridor. And then for your bedroom, I like to put bedrooms with doors that are not clear. <laughs> well, don't do it until you have the hallway put up. Okay, let's get another hallway. It's an airlock hallway. Because we did get our shipment. See, we got quite a few people walking around doing nothing. Okay, now, finish construction. Let's get our bedroom set up so we can... The, the other thing that I was not real familiar with when I first played was getting people assigned to rooms. Okay, now, finish construction. Click on the room. Apartment. So it'll come up here and it'll have the apartment. And then it's got inventory. Or the objects. Take a bed. Place a bed in there. And then we could put a place for them to store their their belongings. Which E and Q is your rotating. Actually let's put it let's put it right here. If it'll fit. No, it won't. Okay. Um right here. Hopefully I got it. Yeah, I do have it the right way. Okay. Now it, now what we do is this apartment, we click on it and it says assign staff. Now we can give somebody that room. That was the part that I had was not doing. I, I didn't realize you had to assign the staff. Let's do that again. Oh, see now we're out of product. So we gotta get more wire. A as you go along you'll start you'll start realizing what it is that you need for each thing. Okay. Um and on the other side, because this is wait a minute. Did I put two? What is this considered as? This is airlock and this is airlock. I don't need two airlocks. So that. We don't need a second airlock. Let's remove that one. And let's add. See, we don't really need a hallway either, but come on. There we go. Hallway. Because see, now we got the airlocks, and it goes a hallway into here. Okay, now, this is important too. Our battery, we've got, now we have ways to produce. We can make oxygen. You want to get these set up. And when you set it up, what you do, we're going to be making oxygen here. So click on it in this little symbol here. Click it, and now you can assign a miner to produce oxygen. Let's get another battery going here. Sometimes you'll get these crises that uh, things will break out where you, they won't be producing a certain object. Fuel. This is to hold liquid. So let's get one of those so we have more storage for that. Oh, let's get somebody assigned to this apartment. And this shows you we need another four more bedrooms. We can put on the opposite side. Let's do more bedrooms here. So that's two more. And then we'll need another hallway so we can get two more. Okay. Now, we want to get in here. We can, in the hallways, we can put like vending machines. Make sure you don't block doorways. And give them places to sit. Because they do like to have places to sit down. Just, uh, let's not do that quite yet because we don't want to be putting it in the front of where we want to be building a doorway. 
Okay, back to construction. Doorways. Door. 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 Okay, there we go. Now let's get beds. This one doesn't have anything for them storage yet, but first thing we want to do is get a place for them to sleep. Or sit even too. I think I'm doing it the right direction. It doesn't really give you just kind of watch where the sleeves are at. Okay, now we still need we need more wire. Wait, what kind of wire? Because there's this kind, cable, and then there's that. So wanna make sure we're getting the right one. Okay, it's the one with multi. Let's get fifty of that. And uh, if we we can do, let's see what how are we doing on energy? So we, we need more storage because it's going to be there's going to be nightfall. It says up here. Oh, I don't see it now. Uh, let's see. It says for sunset, four days. Sunset through for twenty days. Okay, let's see. Let's build some more stuff for outside. This will produce all of those different minerals and things like that. So we want to get, and we've got one more miner, so let's assign him. Now this corridor here, we could put the door here or here, but this way this can kind of be like a, a little place for people to sit when they first come in. Is that going to block the door though? See, we got that's one thing you want to be sure you're not blocking the doorway. Because it will give you indicators down here saying that there's a. that something's blocked. See, people are already sitting. Okay, let's see. Do we got. yep, we do got stuff to build with. I like to get. that's one thing I did figure out. You want to make sure that they're comfortable and all have somewhere to sleep. Fortunately, I don't have enough wire again, so let's get more. Okay, and let's see. So many different, okay, here we go. Now, there is indoor power generation areas. But for right now, we're depending pretty much on... I love how the animation to it turned the solar panel turns to the sun. We got our robot cook potatoes. Okay, now let's... We want to build... Let's get another... I like to have the hallway so we can have... I'm back both sides. Now we want a place to cook. So we're gonna go with this and what we want, see it, this opened up a thing for making biofuel. So that opened up a, a new tool. Now, did two openings on for the cook. Let's go inside there. Let's get our doorway first so that people can get in. If you, when you click on it, it brings up the tables and all the cooking stations and things like that. Which, the cooking stations, we need these fire, these things. So let's do, let's do 20 of those. And now we can start getting some of the food. Let's just do a small amount of each right now. So that the cook has something to cook. Okay. Now, first thing we can do is we can get we can get a couple tables set up here. Got to be careful though not to block. They won't be able to get through. Actually, let's before we do that. If you already clicked it, it's going to try to build it so you disassemble it to get to take it off of it. Okay. Let's make this a bigger room. This way we have room for the cooks, we have room for everything. And cook. 
cooking stations. Here we go. I think it's backwards. Okay, if you did accidentally put it backwards, you can just click on this to move it. Turn it around. There you go. Okay, now this. You assign the cook. You go down. Click on the room. Oops. Look at all this. Click on the room. It's in here. You'll see staff. We can click on our cook. That was one thing I didn't realize. You, you need to actually do that to get so they can start working there. See, and then the robot cook comes in there and starts cooking. Okay, we still have to get some more furniture for these. Okay, let's see how many how many bedrooms do we need? Oh, no more staff to put in the bedrooms. Okay. Oh no, did I I goofed. Okay, well that lesson learned. That is what you do not want. See how I accidentally put it on? Left the speed on? All the people left. Okay, well, as, as an explanatory how to do it video, we kind of went through all the stuff we could do here, but I get, you gotta remember, do not leave the high speed on. Because if you do, this always happens to me. This is probably my fourth, fifth, sixth, is it like eighth attempt? And whenever I leave the speed on, this is what happened. Okay, let's, uh, we'll jump out of this one real quick because there's really nothing else you can do. You have no people. So yeah, the two landing pads, I got a lot of batteries. And what you do, See, I've got a lot of power generation. These are power for fuel. This is a robot charging station. And we've got all these different, uh, this is the server room. And you can put computers and things like that for, for like researching and stuff like that. This is a manufacturing station. Uh, each of these devices manufactures some of these components that you need. And then we've got, this is a second or third floor bedrooms. Uh, each one of them has this one. I guess I don't have that one assigned yet because I have no staff left. Some of these, because you can do tourists. So I've got a lot of bedrooms in my second floor. We've got the medical it's where your doctor we've got this is the research center we've got a staff there and this is the storage these are all storage compartments and stuff and when you do this manufacturing you have to do two levels because the machines are too tall so okay well I do really hope this helps you get started uh, like I said, if, if you're getting frustrated and you're looking for a video that helps, hopefully this does, uh, because I was, I was right there with you. <laughs> so, okay, well, we'll probably give it another go, see if we can get a little bit farther along, or I'll, I'll drop a video of once I get to a point with my test map where we're actually going up into space and building a space station and things like that, so. Okay, well, I do really hope you enjoyed the video. Hopefully it helps you out. You have a great wish today, and I will talk to you in the comments. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and watching one of my videos. If you're new to the channel, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the bell icon so you know exactly when the next video comes out. I do offer a wide range of different kinds of videos, so check out the playlists and you might find something else that you like other than this kind of video you watched today. Thank you so much. Comment down below what you thought or just say hi. Have a great rest of your day.